Have you ever wondered how to be a hitman? I haven't until last week. It all started when I watched John Wick for the first time. What I watched was Keanu Reeves executing the most insane of hits in the coolest way possible. I want to do that, which made me wonder. What would being a hitman be like in real life? Which is why I've created a plan to become a real hitman. And no, I'm not talking about someone who hits on men. I'm talking about someone who gets paid to commit real crimes. Now, I know you're probably wondering, Brandon, how do you plan to do that? Hitmen are known for three things. Number one, being able to fight. Number two, remaining emotionless under pressure. Number three, executing the most secretive of jobs. Now, if I want to become a hitman, I need to master all aspects of the job leading up to what I'm calling the end game, where I simulate a real job that hitman would go through. I have built a realistic hitman simulation in an abandoned warehouse in downtown Los Angeles, where my goal is to take a hit out on Jummy, my dummy. The only problem is I'm only giving myself seven days to do so, and our training starts right now. Now the first step to becoming a hitman is to learn how to fight. This included with and without weapons. So I went onto the good old Instagram and started reaching out to the most experienced fighters I could find. And to my surprise, Luke said yes. Now if you're wondering who Luke is. What's going on guys? My name is Luke Crosby. I'm the head instructor here at uh, Cutting Edge Karate Krav Maga. The next day I practically spawned right outside of a Krav Maga training facility. Okay, we are at a Krav Maga training facility. We are about to learn how to do some self-defense, self-defense. Uh, Brandon came to me, he wants to be the baddest hitman he can on the planet, so we're gonna take him through what that entails. Perfect, what are we gonna be doing today? All right, boss, so today we're gonna be going over some basic Krav Maga. Uh, we're gonna go over some knife defense, we're gonna be going over some handgun defense, and we'll go over some basic level, uh, you know, just basic level crop. So just straight, uh, okay. in Hebrew we call it Krapani uh, Lapani, which means face-to-face -face combat. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, I'm excited. Let's do it. Do I need like take yeah, my shoes, take off shoes off or off. socks and shoes? Right in. Get nice and warmed up here. I'm not trying to flex or anything, but I used to do karate when I was eight years old, so right on, I might be pretty good at this. I don't know. What? Yeah, that that was a complete lie. I've never done karate in my entire life. Nice. How long do you train for? Oh. Uh, no. Sometimes I feel like I over have to overly prove myself and end up just saying some dumb shit. Like six months, maybe. Okay, cool. So before we went into any of the weapons training, one of the cool. things we had this show, Brandon, were the basics of Krav Maga. Oh, oh. Right. Sorry, huh? You're good, balance. Right? What you do is just throw these punches right here. Boom, boom. Rotate off the back foot. Every martial art has basic movement, basic footwork, different strikes. In Krav, what we do is we actually punch it more at a 45 degree angle, thumb up. And the reason why that is, is when you punch this way, if you're not conditioned for it, see how your wrist yeah. might turn in like that? Here, no matter what, I can put all my weight on you. And you still have solid base yeah. from here to your elbow joint to your shoulder. Right? So that means and since Krav is more like, I might get in trouble, but it's a mixed martial art. It really is. It's boxing, it's, uh, it's judo, it's jujitsu. It's all one. these things put together. It's the best of every martial art put into one. Now I want to see that quadrupled up when I say four. One, two, three, four, and right back to your position. Okay. So we had to take Brandon through those basics before we could show him any of the advanced work. That included some boxing, some elbow strikes, some hammer fists, a little bit of some cardio and some stretching. I'll give you five, man. You got this all good. <sighs> Not bad, dude. That was awesome. Oh my gosh. Right. That's a workout and a half. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> to be honest, training was a lot easier than I thought it would be. If I had to compare it to anything, it'd be like eating a slice of cake that you're allergic to. I'm exhausted. I've literally never done anything like this before. I used to do karate when I was eight years old, so oh, man. I might be pretty good at it. Now going into this video, I had just completed a binge of the first four movies of John Wick, where John Reeves uses a pencil as a deadly weapon. So I apprehensively asked Luke if you- Could you uh, use the pencil as just a deadly weapon? How, how, if you were to use it, say there's no knives around, someone's punching you, you're on the ground, but you see a pencil. Uh, well, I'm gonna use hammer fist one. I'm gonna yeah. hammer two, hammer two, right? I'm yeah. Gonna boom, boom, boom. Right? Oh, utilize this. But finally, it was time to move on to weapon training. We are using fake guns. Do not replicate anything you see in this video. We are, uh, he is a trained professional, so. So what Brandon really wanted to go over today was a lot of the, what we call weapon training, which is gun and knife. So here's the deal. Uh, I was just telling Brandon, we use these, like we tell even our kids, you, know, you get kids on day one that are going, uh, and I'm like, hey, no, this is, this is not a toy. 
Yeah, of, of course I mess around with a gun. This is not a toy. So we're gonna take Brandon through uh, basic gun defense. What we're gonna do right now, um, Brandon is here. I'm gonna demonstrate what this looks like full speed, and then we're gonna break it down. So go ahead, I'm gonna have hand that off to you. I want you to grab the firearm like so, okay? Put it on me. So this is called gun from front. Sir, hey look, I have a wife. <laughs> Yeah. See that? But now, it's my turn. All right, hey, give me your money. No, I have a wife. Boom, body weight, cat. Nice job. Your money. I have a wife, kids. Boom. Boom. Oh. Nice. Easy. So Not that's easy, but... gun from front, guys. Uh, I mean, this is a technique that takes years to really get good All at. All right, so knife. Fascinating thing about knife, okay? Let me explain why knife is scary. Try to block it. It's a blender. It's, yeah. It's, it's scarred. Now the reason why mastering weapons training is so important and why I'm stressed out of my gosh darn mind is because at the end of this video I'll have to face the end game where I'll have two minutes to complete a real hitman simulation with fake guns, real targets, all by myself. But before then I stopped to go through hitman therapy as well as become a hitman entrepreneur by getting a job to truly see if I have what it takes to be a real hitman legally and all in seven days. But none of that actually matters if I don't get the green light from Lou to ultimately pass fight training and move on to the next steps of my plan. So the idea with the 360 defense is, let's just be Michael Myers, try to stab me, right? Boom. I'm coming in this way. This is all I want you to do. As soon as you see the knife, attack my wrist. Go. Good. Again. Boom. And you can see. I can still get cut right there. But here's the thing. This is bone. It's going to hurt, but it's not a bit. Yeah. Go. Ready? Boom. Punch to the face. Now. Boom. Now from here, what we're gonna do is keep this tight, rotate it through, grab it with your other hand. Good. Now from here, you're gonna snake this under into my shoulder and walk forward. One, two, three. Nice. Good job. This is a lot harder than I expected it to be. I came in here prepared to like actually be good at this and I'm getting humbled at this moment in time, which is good. It's good, it's the start of the training, so. I'm not gonna lie, before this video, I had no idea what Krav Maga even was. So this is definitely a learning experience. I think I'll definitely be coming back here, for sure, because this is like actually really sick. That is if, and only if, Luke wants me back. So Brandon came in with a great energy today. I love that, you know, you get some people that really just want to muscle through it, and I could see that he's really trying to understand the technique, and he's critiquing his own technique, and I love that in a student. Uh, and I love that he's got the willpower oh, yeah. to get through it. That's what you need to do to be a Krav Maga student. You're a badass, so we gotta hook you up, make you officially part of the Krav Maga team. Let's go! Krav Maga team, so one may walk in peace, man. Thank you so much. Get you all hooked up. Perfect. Thank you so much again. Literally, so fun, so awesome, fun, dude. perfect. This was a special moment, for sure. I would say I was pretty happy with how my Krav Maga training went, but I couldn't stop thinking about how that wasn't enough. I felt unprepared, I have a mission in six days time, and still feel like I have nothing to show for it. I felt so much rage, so much embarrassment, I, I couldn't control it. But then, I remembered. In order to become a hitman, I needed to remain as emotionless as possible in the most high pressure situations. And right now, I was on my hitman period, like I was emotional as hell. Which is when I found it. The one place I could go to learn anything my heart desired. Fiverr. Awesome. Sorry, I, I, I accidentally spilled some ketchup on my shirt earlier, so... Yeah, so for this next bit, I ended up hiring a fiber psychologist. Okay, my name is Mohsin Bhatti and I'm a system professor in a university in Pakistan. And uh, I basically write a book, Operating System for Human. Actually, emotions come from uh, the knowledge that we have uh, in our mind. Like uh, you said that you are so much more... Uh, like... No, I, I couldn't understand a single thing he was saying. Like, uh, uh, during work, Rose like, Ping was anxiety. so bad, it was like trying to play Fortnite on Oceanic servers. Bro's ping was so bad, it was like trying to hop onto Hypixel in 2024. Bro's ping was so bad, it felt like a 2020 20 Zoom call. It felt nostalgic. Second important thing is uh, your memory. Try to memorize something, because if you are uh, out of uh, some stuck, it, it means that you have not sufficient knowledge in your mind. Just write 10 uh, different uh, uh, names on the paper, uh, like the basic things. Look around your room and you can write. You can write the fruit names, anything that you love to eat. 
and any home appliances name and tell me like for number one what we have to write in number one okay first one would be 10 gallons of baby oil okay and right then now. i'll have baby oil number one like uh, number one is baby oil um and then i i also have my my lubriderm anything oh, that you wait, like to eat it? no i use cerave lotion and and my bible as well okay um one more would be my my like kleenex like tissues okay tissues okay Yep, the call lagged out after that, but apparently Mozambati said some more interesting stuff. It's okay though, he said he'd send me a recording of everything. Well, with my fiber lesson in the books, I definitely felt much calmer. I definitely understood every single thing that Moza, how do you say? Mozambati said. The momentum was pumping at this point, and with four days until my mission, I was feeling energetic. Which was when I started on the next step of my plan, getting a job. I found this website called rentahitman.com. So if anyone knew how to get a job as a hitman, it was the person who ran this website. So I immediately reached out to him, and surprisingly the next day, he replied. Now the dark web is a place that is known for containing a lot of illegal material, including a bunch of job listings from real hitmen. So I decided to go to the only place I felt safe. Okay, I am outside of McDonald's right now. And no, not because I'm trying to get a Kai Snack Chicken Big Mac, but because the next step to becoming a hitman is to get a job. And the one place that all hitmen list their jobs is none other than the dark web. Now, if you don't know, the dark web is known for stealing every single bit of information whenever you log on to it. So instead of going onto the dark web using my own home Wi-Fi, I'm going to use McDonald's Wi-Fi and make it their problem instead. Now, welcome to my secret lair, aka the McDonald's bathroom. Now there's three steps to accessing the dark web. It all starts with uh, this. Now, download it onto this USB stick is something called the Tor browser, which is how you essentially access the dark web. Now, my grandma, for as long as I can remember, has always told me that if I intend to go into a deep and dark place, to always use protection, which is lucky because today's video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Now, I am on my desktop right here. The first step before we actually connect to, to, to the Tor browser and actually get onto the dark web is to install a VPN. Now, if you didn't know, a VPN or virtual private network is a tunnel between your device and the internet designed to keep your online activity private and secure. Now, if you're competing in NNN like I am, you can use ExpressVPN to block adult sites to make your November experience way less hard. Now, ExpressVPN is literally the best way to protect yourself while browsing on the internet. It literally takes one tap here, one tap here, and bada bing, bada boom, I'm literally in Hong Kong somewhere which also allows me to watch thousands of different TV shows and movies I wouldn't normally be able to get here in the US, like the new Fairly Odd Parents movie. I was able to watch the show by changing my location to Hong Kong. So right now you can take advantage of ExpressVPN's Black Friday slash Cyber Monday deal and get four extra months with the 12 month plan or six extra months with the 24 month plan totally free. Literally all you have to do is go to expressvpn.com slash hitman, scan the QR code on screen or use the link in my description to get an extra four or even six months of ExpressVPN for free. Thank you so much ExpressVPN for sponsoring today's video. I love you. <clears throat> Do a little courtesy blush. So now that I have my Kaisenet Chicken Big Mac paid for, it is now time to officially access the dark web. Let's use this clean before I actually go onto the dark web. Don't do it, you're going to probably get hacked if you don't take the necessary precautions, use VPNs, and use all these different encryptions so that your information is safe. It's a bad idea, don't do it. But I'm a YouTuber, so I'm going to do it anyways. But before I actually go onto the dark web, here is my plan. My goal is to host my own Hitman website, lure someone into thinking they are actually hiring me as a Hitman, almost like a Hitman to catch a predator type vibe, then recreate whatever they hired me to do with a dummy to make the Hitman simulation I do in four days as realistic as possible. So right here, we are on the dark web. It doesn't look that dark. It's actually on light mode for some reason. 
The next step is to actually host my own website. So to do that, the next step is downloading this thing called Onion Share, which will allow me to actually host my own website. Now, if you're wondering how the dark web works and why it's called Onion Share, it's because the dark web is used through accessing different layers. Think of the dark web as a Facebook marketplace negotiation. Do you seriously want to meet a random person at their house? No, of course not. You want to meet them at a public place. So essentially going onto the dark web is like meeting people inside a McDonald's bathroom. But I'm not doing that. My goal is to own the bathroom for people to meet me inside, if that makes sense. Okay, Onion Share is officially loading up. Okay, the next step is to drag the Hitman website that I made last night. It is literally the most supreme website you will have ever seen in your entire life. You ready? Now, obviously creating a website on the dark web that says I will literally unalive people for money is illegal and I can't go back to prison. So, I created the next best thing. Um, here. So this is officially my Hitman website. It says hitforhire.com. I'm a professional Hitman and will teach anyone how to hit on men because I don't know, I feel like I'd be pretty good at that. But now with the dark web website finally up and running. I've been in this bathroom for probably 45 minutes. Um, I'd be lying if I said I haven't been in this position before where I've been in a McDonald's bathroom for over 45 minutes, but um, so I decided to pack up and leave. And with the Hitman website now up and running, it was now time to play the waiting game. In the meantime, I tested how deadly a pencil could really be in this short. Can you use a pencil as a weapon? No! Today, I'm gonna find out. But first, we're practicing with this fruit, starting with an apple. I first had to actually learn how to throw a pencil like a weapon. Ah, throwing a pencil is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Oh, I just hit it. I don't even know where that pencil when? I'd say the pencil is pretty deadly. Now, in case my website got no hits, I decided to do research on the most common scenarios that hitmen get hired, which apparently is a house break-in. So while I waited, I practiced my Krav Maga and checked in with the rent-a-hitman owner, who, by the way, completely ghosted me at this point. And after three days of waiting, I got no leads on the dark web website, which means I officially ran out of time. How do you, uh, could I do a Kaisen at Chicken Big Mac, please? Hmm? Chicken the Chicken, chicken Big Mac? Combo? Uh, no combo. Medium or large? Uh, I failed, but there was one way to redeem myself for not getting a job. It was to complete a 90% realistic hitman simulation. So here is my plan. I ordered fake guns on eBay that look pretty realistic. Well, the guns arrived. They shoot gel pellets, and I bought glow-in-the-dark versions to make it look cooler. And after days of preparation, it was finally time for the end game. So to perfectly simulate a job that a hitman would actually do, I recreated a house within this abandoned warehouse in downtown Los Angeles with a full entryway, dining area, and bedroom. I'll have two minutes to perfectly hit every target using fake weapons, or hopefully without getting caught. So I looked back on every step of my training from where I started to where I am now, trusted my instincts before I knew it,
was in this moment in time when morale was low, I was practically out of ammunition, and the time was running out. So I had nothing left to do except for remember what Moza, how do you say his name? Mozin Bati told me. If you are doing something, you have some bad experiences. But to stuck yeah. with the bad experience is a negative thing. Like for example, if a child of one year is start walking, the first when he will stand up, he will fall down. At that time, we will not say that child that oh ho, oh, what you have done that you are not good, you are not enough, you cannot walk in your life because it's the natural process that once you uh, stand up, then you will fall down. Then the, again, the most important thing is again to stand up again. Uh, and I love that he's got the willpower to get through it. That's what you need to do to be a Krav Maga student. The willpower that he's given today, I, I could see him even getting the black belt one day if he keeps this up. And I would love to have someone like that on our team. It would be great. Because once you stand up again, then you will start walking. So the first thing is you have to do like this. If you're thinking uh, negative, just say that this is a natural thing. And this is basically learning. And I have to find the learning. What is the learning? in this bad experience. So I took a deep breath in, visualized my target, loaded up one of my pencils, and immediately... <clears throat> Sorry, just gonna change the song real quick. Well, I was out of ammo, I had pencils. There you go, you know mom. I think he's dead. Like, I hear sirens. I should probably try to get rid of his body now. Um, first, how did I do? Look at this. I'm gonna pull a big bullseye with the pencil. This dude's still bleeding out. He's still absolutely. He's These have damage, no like penetration marks. Maybe the pencil was the best option. This dude's dead. I, I should probably go so I don't, you know, get caught. That'd be kind of awkward, I think. We'll put the camera down. Shut